Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix uh, No Man's Sky crashing and launching issues. This is a very simple tutorial because I'm just gonna show you what I've tested myself and it worked for me to fix this problem. I hope it's gonna work for you. I know it's gonna work for you. For some of you, some I can't guarantee you, but you know, just try and just let me know your, your results in the comment section. I really hope it's gonna work because I just know I hate when it's something that really bothers me a lot and I you know buy a game and then it doesn't work. You know, you have problems again, so and I don't think it's the fault uh here in fault, I don't think it's the game. I don't think the game is the game problems. I we just have to do something to fix this. So what you have to do guys is first to ensure that you have the latest updates. So update your windows, update your drivers. Windows check for updates. I heard you have some available drivers. If there are aren't any drivers, that's fine. But if there are, make sure you check all of them and don't let any install. Also, you can use GeForce Experience to install all the drivers you need. You have to click on this button. You also can run st stream as an administrator and the game as administrator. Run this awesome compatibility mode. Make sure you check all of this. And now so here in the GeForce Experience, check for updates for your games. Check for updates here and install all the drivers. As you can see, there's an available driver. Click on download. Also, you need to have Microsoft Visual C++ in order to run any game. If you don't have, then that's the reason why the game is not working. You also need to have DirectX. If you don't have it, that's the reason why it's not working the game. Now, Intel, uh, GeForce Experience, click on download, AMD on that i'll leave the links in the description of this video and this is gonna help you to fix the problem i really i really hope it's gonna work for you guys now another thing that i forgot to mention is also we have to increase virtual memory if you already did that obviously you can skip this uh, step but the you hear what you have to do is just to multiply 1024 uh, multiply by by the amount of ram you have if you have 60 write 60 and the result you put here uh, click on set and okay and apply okay now that's pretty much what you have to do this i hope it's gonna work for you thank you so much for watching and i hope you're gonna have a fantastic day take care